well, my name's Thomasina Myers. Uh, I've got three Mexican restaurants called Oaxaca, which do really fun, simple street food. So totally affordable, unpretentious. You just go in and you can sample bits of street food from all over Mexico. So now I'm going to do a little salsa with our castillas. Mexicans love salsas, which is another reason why I think it's quite similar to the English because um, we Brits love kind of ketchups and mayonnaises and chutneys and all this kind of stuff to chuck on our meats and stuff. And the Mexicans are exactly the same. They can't eat anything without a couple of salsas. Um, I fell in love with Mexican food when I was about 18, but I love food from Spain, from France, from Italy, from the Middle East, Indian food I love. I basically just love food and cooking um, and, and I write about food as well. In Mexico City and in Cancun, there are some absolutely extraordinary restaurants uh, kind of mixing Mexican cooking techniques, French cooking techniques, Spanish cooking techniques, but with all the incredible ingredients they have from Mexico. In fact, whenever I think about tomatoes or avocados or lime or corn or courgettes, they're all ingredients that come from Mexico originally. So um, it's incredible once you start getting into the produce of Mexico, how familiar actually all the ingredients are to us and how Italian actually a lot of the food seems. It's the third most biodiverse country in the world. So it's rich with beautiful, beautiful ingredients. Um, so, um, yeah, amazing chefs who I've learned from over the last five years consistently. Um, and then my favorite one is a cook rather than chef. She's, um, she's 90 now. She's called Diana Kennedy. For me, the kitchen is the heart of a home because food, food makes people happy. Food is a pleasure and um, the wonderful thing about being a cook is if you feed people good food, you give them pleasure and you get pleasure back. I mean, food is all about pleasure. It shouldn't be this thing where everyone's thinking, oh, is it bad for me? Have I had too much fat? Have I had too much dairy, carbohydrate? Food should be about fun and sharing with people. And so for me, what I love about the kitchen here is it's very similar to my kitchen at home. You know, the, the worktop is in the middle of the room and I cook with my friends around me. They sit around and chat to me as I cook and we all eat together. And for me, as I've grown up, the kitchen's always been the center of any household where everyone gathers. And so when we were doing up the house, the kitchen was really the most important room for me. And I just wanted to have the best in it. And, uh, and I, I looked at lots of different companies um, and at what they were doing. And I went to a Sub-Zero uh, showroom in Essex, met Juliet, and she showed me the kitchen kit. And it really, it's just, it's phenomenally good. And, and it's going to last for years as well. This is not stuff that breaks after a year. This stuff is made, it's beautifully designed, totally ergonomic. It's just the, it's the best cooking kit. For me, the most important thing in a kitchen is that something works uh, effectively. So uh, the amazing thing about Wolf is that when you look at it, it's the most beautiful stuff you've ever seen. So my kitchen is the sexiest kitchen of any of my friends. And my girlfriend's just going ballistic at the moment because it looks so good. But it's no use if something looks good, it doesn't function. So there's no use having a poor surrounding if the engine is kind of uh, a larder or, or what have you. This kit is completely the best kit I've ever cooked on. And um, I'm, I'm not saying that lightly because uh, Working with good kit really makes cooking a joy, and um, and this stuff's just amazing. I've got it in my in my kitchen at home, and it is just wonderful. And I thought one of the things I'd show you how to make is truffles, because um, everyone thinks truffles are quite a kind of difficult thing, but with this with this kit, it's absolutely incredible. The cooking stuff is actually the, what I love best, though, because obviously I love cooking, and the induct the electric the electric cooker I've got and the gas goes onto the lowest, lowest heat possible. So for someone who loves making chocolates, truffles, nougat, it means you can turn your gas down, your heat to the lowest, lowest setting. And it means you'll never separate your chocolate. Chocolate burns incredibly easily. And it means I can make, I made the other day six kilos of chocolate truffles without the risk of burning the chocolate. Which I tell you, when you're making that much chocolate, you do not want it to burn. And in fact, for pudding, I chopped some up this morning. So you can have these after your muscles. Uh, another thing is the power of the heat. So the absolute opposite end of the extremes. When you turn the heat right up to full, you get incredible power immediately, particularly on the induction. If I want to um, boil a pan of uh, boil, boiling water for pasta, it will come up to boiling 
um, temperature in literally a minute or two on the electric, full, full, full power, and it's boiling before you can kind of even blink. It's absolutely incredible. And then the other thing I've got, which is amazing, is um, I've got a baking stone. So you put your baking stone in the bottom of the oven, get it really, really hot, and you can make incredible pizzas, you know, really thin crust, charred pizzas, sourdough breads. I, it's just, it's wonderful for bread making and pizzas. Yeah, it's great stuff. It's the best, it's the best you can find. Even Alan Yao says so. That wok is, is very, very good. Uh, instant heat, you know, for speed cooking. People, the, the common complaint you get about people who don't cook is that it's going to take me so long. You know, I just, I don't have time for cooking. You don't need time for that. Those muscles were cooked in two minutes. Fast food at its best. So what I love about my fridge, for instance, is when I put vegetables and fruit in the crisper, they last for four or five days longer than <laughs> the stuff out in the main body. So it has a, special, um, <clears throat> has a special atmosphere in it that just preserves all my fruit and vegetables for much longer. So that's one thing that's absolutely incredible. Um, the deep freeze is phenomenal. It works absolutely beautifully. Uh, and, um, and also I've got a wonderful glass door so I can see everything I've got um, and, and have it ready to hand.